Kundalini in Hinduism is a form of spiritual, divine energy and consciousness, located at the base of the spine, where it lies coiled and dormant. Kundalini energy is responsible for evolutionary development and for heightened states of consciousness and awareness and is present in all living forms. Kundalini may unravel and arise from the base of the spine due to spiritual practices or in response to specific, perhaps traumatic life events. And when this happens, it may move gradually, uncoiling like a snake, or quickly and explosively into the gut or the heart or the head. When it does this, the Kundalini awakens each of the seven chakras along the way. A Kundalini awakening happens when energy is released, and our vibration is strong enough to release it. And a full Kundalini awakening is extremely rare. This event can be frightening and chaotic, worrisome and joyful, and it usually triggers months and even years of new and strange sensations and changes in the person who awakens it. Kundalini can be erratic, it can bring harmony and bliss one day and discomfort and even pain the next. It can stir up an assortment of peculiar symptoms, both wonderful and frightening. Kundalini awakening presents a profound opportunity for those following a spiritual path. It releases patterns, conditions and delusions of the separate self and this can threaten the ego structure because people often feel a loss of interest in their old life and identity. Consciousness may enter new, strange and unfamiliar, expansive or empty states that are disorientating and people who are unfamiliar with the concept therefore may be afraid that they are ill or even losing their minds when symptoms begin manifesting and therefore understanding is so important. If you are experiencing physical symptoms that are giving you concern in any way, it is of course always wise to go and get a medical checkup. What follows in this video is a selection of signs and symptoms that many people report experiencing when they are going through the stages and processes of Kundalini awakening. Tremors, shaking, convulsions, spasms, jerking or involuntary movements. These are called kairas and mudras and they can be mild and infrequent or rather robust. Many people believe that this is not the Kundalini energy itself that is causing these problematic symptoms, but the physical, energetic and mental blockages that are not allowing the energy to flow. People who are processing all of these energies all at once often tend to be quite nervous or shaky on occasion. You may experience unusual breathing patterns, the feeling of being unable to take in a full and satisfying breath, or a pressure on the chest, or a cessation of breath for short periods. This is known as automatic paranayama. Reddening of the skin or a cracking of the skin, blackening and loss of fingernails or skin eruptions, blisters, warts, cysts, pimples or boils. Unexplained changes in weight, often weight loss and other changes involved in an increased metabolism such as hair and nails growing faster, fluctuations in appetite and craving unusual foods, and an increase in hearing, taste, smell, touch or vision, you begin to start seeing and feeling energy around yourself and around others. You may find you are suddenly motivated to make drastic changes in your diet. You may begin craving whole plant-based foods or feeling a need to start exercising more. We attract what we need to heal and this can mean more light foods to detox your energy with fruits and vegetables for example. Listen to your body and the energy will follow. Women may notice changes in their menstrual cycles. This can be more or less pain, lighter or heavier bleeding, and longer or shorter cycles, or a general disruption in the time between cycles. You could have a sensation of bodily heaviness and general physical weakness, exhaustion and fatigue. 
Changes in sleeping patterns, insomnia or sleeping for far longer than usual, waking during the night at random times or waking early and experiencing an immediate and unexplained sense of panic. Dizziness, fainting, swirling or spinning sensations, prickling, tingling, itching or vibrating sensations on or under the skin and even numbness in the limbs. If you feel floaty, dizzy or out of balance, these are potentially signs that your root chakra needs work. Kundalini begins at the base of the spine and awakens into the crown, giving our chakras a nice workout over time and this can manifest as body aches as your spine adjusts to the Kundalini energy. Many experience hot or cold flashes and flushes and sensations of extreme heat or extreme cold. Sometimes, bizarrely, both can occur at the same time, feeling hot and cold and being unsure which one you are can be disorientating. Many experience pain in the spine or lower back and random shooting pains through the body. Again, Kundalini begins at the base of the spine. You may find your ears ringing or you're hearing strange cracking or popping noises inside your head. You may experience headaches and pressure in the head, nosebleeds, pain in the eyes and increased sensitivity to light. You may manifest heart palpitations, a rapid pulse, a pulling sensation from the chest, discomfort or pain in the chest or the heart. These are all signs that the heart is releasing blocked energy and opening up more. Emotional upheaval can be extreme, moving from euphoria to depression, uncontrollable weeping spells, outbursts of temper, feelings of neediness and clinging to others, episodes of anxiety, fear, rage, grief, guilt, depression, despair, loneliness, hopelessness, agoraphoria, panic and anxiety attacks. One minute you may feel on top of the world and the next you will encounter deep waves of emotion that can lead you to tears. These apparent random influxes of emotion could be, in fact, old feelings that you never fully addressed, a downpouring of memories of events from our past, triggering of past traumas that you either forgot about or believed you had moved past. Once your Kundalini is where it needs to be, everything will die down. So, above all else, trust in that. Disgust and anger with ourselves and the human race, and a feeling of a loss of faith. Feeling distant and disengaged with those around you, and the sensation of moving away from certain people energetically, alienation from the external world, and emotional flatness. There is an innate desire to surround yourself with like-minded people and healthy relationships, but this can lead to extreme introversion and a retreat from worldly contact. Although, paradoxically, you may feel blissful kindness when considering the needs of others, a new level of understanding and a non-judgmental based way of thinking. Your empathetic abilities strengthen like never before. It's as though you can think and feel exactly what other people are experiencing. You are not getting frustrated anymore because you can see the perspective of others. Every side is now visible and you're able to relax and understand the struggles of others. Old habits and addictions, relationships, family connections, diet, work and career, everything comes up for review. If it's not in alignment, it will most likely be removed from your life. You may have the feeling as if you're living inside a dream or you can't differentiate if this was from a dream or from reality. From the human point of view, this experience can be completely overwhelming and can turn your life upside down. Do your best to show up for life. A daily gentle meditation practice is recommended. Kundalini is here to remind you that sometimes what may appear to be a life crisis is actually a special spiritual awakening that is happening at just the right moment in your life. Relax. 
hang in there and trust that this is an experience that will one day even out and be experienced as tremendous bliss. Please do let me know what your experiences of Kundalini Awakening have been and please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, further exploration of Kundalini and chakras meditation and so much more. Have a wonderful day.